Hello and welcome to another episode of Rainy Day Brain. My name is Ken and I want to talk to you a little bit tonight about a part of my anxiety that I refer to as thought spiraling or catastrophizing, basically. So what do I mean by that? Well, here's an example of thought spiraling for me. Now, I texted my dad on Monday to see if he wanted to hang out on Wednesday morning and get some breakfast, Wednesday being the 4th of July. He replied back with a text saying that he was sorry he was already committed for that time period and, you know, love you, but, you know, we'll do it again. Okay, fine. This is no big deal for anybody with a normal brain. However, someone like myself who suffers with anxiety and depression, well, our brains turn that kind of thing into something completely different. So, for example, the way my brain works is this. We had borrowed uh, four folding chairs from mom and dad because we were having some guests over on Saturday to play games. No big deal. About a week or so before that, we were at my parents' house gaming and my mom made a comment just off the cuff, hey, you know, you and your dad should go out, see a movie together. It's been a long time since you guys have done anything like that. And I thought, yeah, that would actually be a really good idea. But my anxiety brain takes things like that that have happened previously and warps them completely into something else. So when my dad responded back with the text message saying that he wasn't available, my stupid brain, my depression brain, got me thinking, hmm, I wonder if he and mom think that I was just inviting him out to breakfast so that I could you know, give them the chairs back in the parking lot of the restaurant instead of driving them over to the house. Maybe dad is upset because I haven't made plans yet to go see a movie with him. And maybe he thinks that I just text him and call him whenever I want something, not just to see him. And I'm probably just a really crappy son. And I don't even know why I bothered to go out in the first place because I know I'm just going to put my foot in my mouth. And crowds suck and I just don't even know why I bother. Why do I even try anymore? It's all useless. I should just stay home and never go out again. That happens to me every day at least once a day, usually a lot more than that. I hate that I don't have better control over my thoughts, but there it is. My problem right now is that the medications that were working previously aren't working anymore, and the new ones that I'm trying, well, I can take a few weeks for them to take effect, and the early results are not very promising. I just feel very tired and sleepy and drugged all the time major brain fog. But that's another show. Anyway, I share that with you asking the question, how do you deal with that? Does anyone out there watching this video run into the same issue with the catastrophizing, with the thought spiraling out of control, and the shame that goes with that, and the feeling of just being a horrible person? And if you do go through that, how do you deal with it? Please share in the comments below. And that's where I will leave you for this episode. As always, if you have any questions, send them to me, Ken at DontPunishPain.com. And until next time, I'm Ken. You take care.